Are you wondering how to create a template in Asana? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because today I'm gonna to be showing you exactly what you need to do. And I'm also going to be sharing with you some tips and suggestions along the way, such as how you can apply a template once it's been created. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a new project and you need to create a template that you obviously want to save. So what I've done ahead of filming is I've just created a brand new project and I've actually called it creating a template in Asana. And if I open it up, I've just put in some dummy tasks and phases. So as you can see here, we've got a to-do list, we've got a doing list and we've got a done list. Now, if you're creating a template, then you're probably not going to want to have completed tasks unless that, you know, the project that you're all, um, you're setting up or the template that you're setting up will have these kind of completed by default. So I'm actually, what I'm gonna do actually, just in the interest of, of this video, is I'm actually just gonna undo these um, because we, we want these to be to do. Um, because, uh, yeah, as I say, for new projects, these won't have been completed. So, but it's something to bear in mind, you know, if you did have, if you did want these kind of phases set up by default. Um, so the first thing is you want to do is obviously have your tasks in place. You want to have something like an assignee column. Um, this has obviously been assigned to my particular account, but I'm actually just going to get rid of that. Uh, we've got a due date, we've got a priority column, and we've got a status as well. Um, as I say, just like the, the phases, you might actually want to eradicate this kind of information um, because anything you save in the template is obviously going to, um, when you apply it uh, to a new project, it's going to have these in there by default. So you probably want a blank slate. So I'm actually just going to get rid of all of this. Um, so these are some of the tips that I'm just kind of suggesting to you here. Um, you know, make sure it's it's in a position and in a place um, that is going to um, be suitable for all projects going forward. So once that's all in place, obviously it's all saving in real time in Asana. What you want to do is you want to scroll to the top, navigate to the top and look for this drop down. And you are looking for the save as template button. It's as simple as that. Obviously left click here and you'll notice that you have this screen pop up. So what I would suggest you do here is you, you, you give it a, a, a title and a name that you'll be able to um, kind of uh, think about and remember and you'll know what it, exactly what it is. So for instance, I would call it something like template for, and then you could put a project type in here or an implementation or just something that's obviously very suitable for that particular project. So in this instance, it would be something like project for video to uh, YouTube video tutorials. So I'll just put YouTube video tutorials. Make sure it's clear and that you know exactly what it's going to be um, uh, needed for. In the privacy, you have the option of select anyone in the team can edit, uh, anyone can use it, or you want it private. So obviously that's going to depend on your organization, uh, the user accounts uh, that have access and, and just your kind of privacy uh, in general. I'm actually going to put this one just for now. Click create template and you'll see this kind of section at the top. And it's just basically saying that it's, create, it's creating a copy of the template. Um, and when it's done, uh, you will have this kind of screen. Uh, again, we've got all of this here. It's basically just enabling you to make some edits to the underlying template. I did all those in the previous screen, so I don't actually need to. Um, so you, if I click on this here, you've got just got some an overview of the project. So this is the template. This would be um, the overview of the project if you wanted that to be kind of streamlined and attached to the template. So every time you attach it, um, the project has this kind of title and then you've got some settings that you can change as well. So there's this privacy settings, who can access it. And you can all also add this to kind of existing portfolios as well. I'm not going to do any of that for now. All I'm going to do is click done and it says all edits will be auto saved, click done. And it's going to take you back to my workspace. Now that's how to create a template in Asana. So now you're probably wondering how you can use it. Uh, if you have new projects that are set up um, and you want to save all that kind of time of creating it from scratch. So what you need to do is essentially create a new project. And when you do so, you're going to be presented with this screen. And this is where we click use a template and choose from library. And if I do that, we will then be presented with this screen. And you'll see on the left hand side, the recommended kind of section. Here is the template that we've just created. So template for YouTube video tutorials. And it's kind of pre-selected for us and you can favorite it as well if you wanted to, assuming you've got a lot of templates and you want to find it more easy. Um, so it's pre-selected and you'll see, if you click on it, the uh, almost a, 
uh, an overview of what's included, uh, a sample if you like. So um, this is what we want. So then all you need to do is click use template and you will actually notice on the left that you could edit it before kind of um, using it if you wanted to. Um, and you also have the option to delete it. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Um, maybe you got it wrong actually. You, could, you might want to do that there. But all you have to do is click use template and give yourself a project name. So let's just call it project B as an example. Click create project and you'll see the project is being created and when this completes the template should be attached. So let's just give it a couple of seconds and here we go. And you'll see that the same columns have been applied. So that's how to create a template in Asana and also how to apply one to a new project. So I hope this video is useful. If it was, please do hit the like button. That tells me I should continue creating videos like this. And if you have just started using Asana, then I suggest heading over to my channel. I've got a whole um, playlist of Asana tutorials. Um, so while you're over on my channel, you might want to subscribe as well and also hit the bell notification to be notified of when I release new videos like this. So with all of that said, I hope you have an excellent day.